Hey guys, my name is Lizzie, and today we are going to be talking about the Thanksgiving themed horror film Thanksgiving. There's no such thing as an evil turkey. Oh, wait, I lied. If you don't know what this movie is about, it is about a killer turkey who comes back every 510, I believe, years to basically seek revenge on white people for the wrongdoings of the natives after Thanksgiving. Um, I won't get all political about Thanksgiving on my channel. I'm here to talk about a movie, if you celebrate Thanksgiving, good for you, not here to judge. Um, but just FYI, the movie does take a bit of that politicalness, but it's all in good fun. Um, and to be honest, as a vegan, if you didn't know, should have I've mentioned it before, uh, but the idea of a vengeful turkey I think is great. <laughs> That's just my personal opinion. Now, this movie is not a good movie really by any means. It is the definition of a bee movie. Um, and it's meant to be. It's clearly not done with the intent of being a good film. Uh, it's very obvious that it was supposed to be a bad movie. I mean, the subject line in itself is just ridiculous. But I still gotta really enjoyed it. Now, this is actually my first time sitting all the way through this film. I have sat down to watch this film in the past before, and was just like, this is so cheesy, it's so bad. But I finally did watch it all the way through, and like I said, it's intentionally bad, but I kind of loved that. So if you haven't seen this film and you're planning on it, just keep that in mind. Don't go into the thinking that it's gonna be so bad that it's good type film, um, because it's not, it's just bad. <laughs> Some of the things that I definitely loved about it um, is just the fact that it has a lot of not just horror movie like stereotypes, it has tons of other just like regular movie stereotypes. I mean, you have all the stereotypical horror movie characters. You have the slutty girl who acts like she's not. You have the dumb kind of rednecky guy. You have the football player um, who, <laughs> it's very funny because he's like the quarterback which is difficult but he's second string and so there's this whole other storyline of like his dad hating him because he didn't make first string quarterback but it's been like two weeks <laughs> that he has a doctor with that um and just like little stuff like that that's like really hilarious and then obviously you have uh his like girlfriend who sort of who's just like the good girl in the group. Um, and she's really like, she's kind of a lowly kind of standable character in this, um, except for the fact that she makes the same joke multiple times, but it's really pretty funny. Um, she says, uh, when talking about the slutty character, she says her legs are harder to close than the John Benet Ramsey case, which, for those of you who are into real life crime cases, you know what that is. So this is really funny, but it gets like repeated multiple times, but it's still funny every time to me. Um, even though it's kind of horrible, don't slut shame. But it's just funny for the movie because it's just a ridiculous, ridiculous film. Uh, I watched it on Amazon Prime. There is both the TV version, which is through Prime, um, and then they have the unrated version as well, um, and as well as Thanks Killing 3. They don't have Thanks Killing 2 on there, which is weird, um, and Thanks Killing 3 is the same thing. You can watch the made-for-TV version, um, or the unrated version. Either way, they're really fucked up. Uh, I will say there is a very odd turkey rape scene in it. Uh, it's not by any means necessarily graphic. Uh, it's just fucked up. 
Uh, so just keep that in mind. It it's very weird because you're just like it's not funny. It's still rape, but it's just very very odd. Um, and of course there's blood and guts and all of that. Um, and there's a very random musical number put in the movie. Like I said, there's a lot of very random, not just horror stereotypes throughout this movie, but just regular movie stereotypes uh, that they kind of like insert in there, like weird storylines. Um, and it's pretty great. It, it's long. It's a bit of a long movie. They definitely probably could have gotten everything. I think the events take less than 24 hours. Um, may maybe 24 hours. And maybe it is 24 hours, maybe it does take that long, but that's still not long really at all. Uh, and so the movie feels quite long when you're watching it. There's definitely some parts where you're like, oh, it's over, and then it's not. And the ending, very strange. Uh, but I'm not gonna necessarily avoid the ending. I know I have talked about some spoilers, but I didn't want to give too many, especially because I know most of you probably have not seen this film. And I think that you should. If you can't find it, I know it had been on Netflix for a really long time, but I think they have since removed it, unfortunately, uh, which is why I just watched it on Amazon Prime, like I said. Uh, so if you have that, you can watch it there. And I'm pretty sure there are places where you can watch it for free. So I would definitely suggest doing that. Uh, not necessarily worth renting if you can find it to watch online for free. Uh, but I mean, if you are watching this or like, oh my God, I gotta see that, you definitely can rent it uh, probably on Amazon as well if you don't have Prime. I know YouTube has it. Uh, you can rent on there. Probably can find it for free on there too, to be honest. Not that I'm saying that you shouldn't do that, but uh, anyway, like I said, weird fucking movie, purposefully bad, but I kind of love it. So if you haven't seen Things Killing, please do try to find this movie to watch. I definitely think it's worth it. Not a family friendly movie by any means, so don't, you know, sit your kids down to watch it. Granted, it is horror, so I don't know if you're doing that anyway. Uh, that's your life. And if you've seen Things Killing, let me know what you thought about it in the comments below. Uh, and are these sequels worth checking out? Let me know that as well. Uh, hope that you guys, if you do celebrate the holidays, have a great holiday. And thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please do give this a big old thumbs up. Make sure to hit that subscribe button for more horror-related content. Um, and before I go, a quick shout out to my Patreons. Thank you guys so much for helping to support the channel. If you would like to join my Patreon family, link is in the description below. I did just release a blooper video from 31 Days of Horror, so you can watch that on there if you are tier 3 and above. So yeah, thanks again so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later with another video.